Did you realize that there's a friendly fungus in your gut? It's not just bacteria, you have friendly fungus. In fact, there's over a hundred different strains of friendly fungus that is growing inside of you for a very specific reason, which we're gonna get into. Now it's the friendly bacteria that keep this fungus in check so it doesn't overgrowth and become pathogenic, as in candida, for example. Now, candida is a yeast. And so there's a lot of confusion between what is the difference between a yeast and a fungus? Well, yeast are small fungi. So that's the relationship. So we have a lot of microbes growing in our body. We have friendly bacteria. We have friendly yeast. There's other types of microbes. When you're healthy, they're non-pathogenic. Now, fungus is essential for your soils. In fact, there are trillions of microorganisms in just a small amount of uh, soil. And just one small function of fungus in the soil is to break down organic material and then take the minerals in the soil that are not uh, soluble to the plant and convert that into a soluble form of mineral. And so it adds amino acids and it makes it very soluble for the plant to absorb. So without fungus, you're going to have a depletion of nutrients in that plant. And then the plant actually exchanges with the fungus um, carbohydrate. So it actually can feed and attract the fungus to help exchange minerals for some food. So that's just one of the many functions that fungus will have in soil. But in our bodies, fungus helps us with many different things. But I'm gonna primarily talk about what happens when you take an antibiotic. The antibiotic kills bacteria, but it does not kill the fungus. And then we have the situation where we have nothing to keep the fungus in check. And so then we get an overgrowth of fungus. And this is when we have like thrush, candida, uh, fungal infections. And this is why it's so important if you have to take an antibiotic to also take a friendly yeast. The one I'm gonna recommend is Saccharomyces boulardii. So instead of waiting till you get a fungal infection and then trying to kill it with some type of medication or drug, if you take this friendly yeast or fungus, while you're taking the antibiotic, you can actually prevent the overgrowth. The other thing is if you already have candida or you have an infection, you can take this friendly yeast to help get rid of it. What you have to realize is that um, these yeasts live on carbohydrates like sugar, especially milk sugar. So I would highly recommend to avoid all sugar. The other point I wanna bring up is you might say, well, I don't take antibiotics. Well, the glyphosate in the GMO food can act like an antibiotic and create a similar situation. So unless you're doing non-GMO food, you can also be susceptible to having this infection, this overgrowth of fungus. It's very important to also consume fermented foods as in fermented vegetables. Sauerkraut would be very, very beneficial to help um, build up this friendly flora. Also, another benefit of taking this friendly fungus or yeast is to help clear up diarrhea that's caused from antibiotics, help you decrease the risk of getting H. pylori. If you have any type of gut infection, this would be a very good yeast to take. Also, if you have any toxins that are created from fungal infections, a very good idea to take this, as well as candida albicans. Now, what's interesting about candida albicans is that it acts like a mold outside of the body when the temperatures are not as high. And then when you increase the temperature, as in inside the body, it morphs into a yeast. So candida can actually change into either a mold or a yeast. There's similar microorganisms, just slightly different. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it, and here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself and so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening 
your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.